Hello, this is David from the Circle Formula, and here we are on our second episode here. And today I wanted to talk about a topic that I've been thinking about all morning long that has to do with personal branding. That's right. In today's world, in the digital space, I believe it's very important to have personal branding, especially if you are a business owner or you are a, pro a professional that may need these photos to best represent you and the type of work that you do. So let's go ahead and dive in about personal branding. So as a photographer, I photograph many executives, many business owners in, in their light. Let me express what that means. So when I go out there to capture these uh, personal branding sessions or portraits of these people, you know, my thoughts are always to align their personal identity and showcasing the qualities and expertise and their personality. Now, when I first uh, meet my client, there's something that I like to do. I like to step back. See, in order for me to capture the right photograph or capture the photograph that is also storytelling about what I just mentioned, these these uh, three things, which is their personal identity, their expertise and personality, um, is some time that I take before that. And whether it's a phone interview or in-person interview, I take the time and I, and, and I ask several questions. It's important for me as a documentarian or a photographer to know about my client. I cannot assume this is, this is where headshots is different from personal branding. They're not the same. They should not be treated the same either. Personal branding is a um, session done to capture the photo that resonates and best represents my client of what is it that they do and their characteristics, okay? And, and we see this with famous people and celebrities out there, that they have branded themselves along with their business. So it's like, their personal branding is like their signature. They are the brand. They're walking around with the brand. So it is important for me when I first do this interview, which takes me sometimes up to 20, 30 minutes, just doing this discovery of my clients and getting to really know them and their product or their service. So... What does that mean? After I do this and I gather information and I've take notes, I, I take plenty of notes because I sometimes I even go back to how they grew up, their history, their thoughts, their experiences. What is it that made them unique and makes them stand out from the rest? That's personal. Now in, in today's world, you know, in the digital space, Personal branding photography is used more than ever. It's used, um, it's used in social media profiles. It's used for uh, profiles, professional photos, uh, such as for their email, signature email, whether they're doing conferences, presentations, speaking engagements, conference programs, press releases, even for marketing materials. And these photographs are what represent our clients. And I can't stress that enough. It's 
somewhat like Picasso or any of these artists where people would come to them and they would have a request. And it's no different. They would sit down, they would analyze their subject, and then they would paint them according to what they felt best represented. Their characteristics, the way they are, their brand, and everything else that I just spoke about. So there is advantages, like I said, about this, doing a personal branding in today's digital age, you know, first impression that I always talk about that you can put on all your networks and all that good stuff. It's uh, having a good portrait of yourself that represents yourself, you know, and also building trust and credibility. Also, it's always good to have these personal branding photos for career uh, advancements. It also help you with that. Um, and consistency and recognition as well. If you have it and you're a business owner and you have a brand and you like to do personal branding, highly suggest um, to get a session done that's, that best represents you. And let me tell you some of the clients that I've photographed in the past. I have everything from realtors, high-end interior designers, attorneys, doctors, DJs, uh, executives, business owners, millionaires that have built their fortune around their, their brand. Uh, what do these pictures look like? Uh, you can see these uh, photos that I'm talking about on my website. If you go to davidpizad.com, you will see some of the examples on there. But it's not your typical headshot at all. You know, I have this wonderful friend of mine. Um, her name is Jerry, and she's been very successful. She's an entrepreneur. And um, every time that she puts herself out there, she has this great presence. I photographed her multiple times, as a matter of fact. But Jerry, if I can identify Jerry and, and break her down, she's very outgoing, great personality, also strong personality. Um, she's, she's a Leo, <laughs> like I am. She's very ambitious. She loves business. She's a businesswoman. She's, she's also very empowered. Um, and I have a great image of her just looking away with a lot of uh, skyscrapers behind her, just smiling, glorious smile, a lot of confidence in her. And she's looking her best. And that is Jerry right there. I also have photographed a high-end uh, planner that is also here in, in San Antonio. And he does a lot of the high-end events, high-end weddings, and corporate events, and all that good stuff. He has a great brand. We've had the opportunity to photograph him inside a private jet. And he looks amazing. White suit, light blue shirt underneath, looking his best. That is the image that he wants to portray because his clients are high end. So he can identify with his clients or his clients can identify with him and his personality. Of course, I've also photographed realtors, interior designers, my other good friend, Nora. I have her in her shop. She has a tons of examples Everything from wallpapers to carpets to design books and ideas and thoughts, um, colors, um, everything. And when she asked me, can I photograph her brand photos? I said, let's go to the place you spend the most time in your job or your line of work. And she said, that is in my shop where I bring all my clients. So with Nora, I was able to photograph her in front of a table where she puts out everything for the clients. She has everything from colors to design to flooring, everything. Like I said, wallpapers, everything. And I put her in her element because that is Nora. 
let me just put it this, this way. I have known people that are so into their business. This is their lifeline. This is it for them. They're so passionate about their business. Like I had one of my friends even tattoo her logo on her arm, which I first thought it was a little silly, but then made me realize that she was just very passionate about what she does. These people are in love with their business. They're very passionate. They love what they do. And this is what they're going to ride on all their life. This is what I believe that God puts us in this wor or world to do certain things. And that is your calling. And for uh, those that are out there listening here, you know your calling. Follow your calling. And embrace your calling. And run with it. But also have a great portrait to showcase what you do so other people can understand you better. Because we're so involved, it's even in our DNA. And only, say, a designer can under, understand another designer point of view of seeing things, for instance, or an artist seeing another person or an entrepreneur seeing another entrepreneur, they can relate and they understand each other. Doctors, the same thing, lawyers. I also want to talk about, I'm going to go more in depth. For instance, you know, like Alan Musk, uh, you know, what do you think about these celebrities, these famous people? You know, when I think of this individual, I think futuristic visions, innovation, SpaceX, Tesla. Golly, this guy has, he's thinking beyond most of the world. And that is just amazing. And that's how people see him. If he comes out with something new, you know it's going to be innovation. It's going to be something that you're going to want to take a look at. That's it. This guy has set those characteristics with his name, with his brand. There's many others like Taylor Swift. She's a, a, a great storyteller. You know, when she sings... You can resonate. It's it feels real, uh, and and she expresses herself through her songs. They're also very emotional. I guess I could say, um, and she, it's very intimate as well. And a lot of people can resonate with her, and so she can grab a lot of the audience. And she's done such a great job doing that through music. And that is amazing. That is truly amazing. Taylor Swift is, is, is an artist. It's a, like, a, again, it's like a painter. And she's expressing herself, but through music. And she has done that very, very well. When you think of Taylor Swift, you think of all these things that come with the name and the person that she is. So... And there's so many celebrities that has done this over and over again. And they're, they're great at it. There is Oprah. Who doesn't know Oprah? I mean, she sympathizes with people. She is also a very real person. Her personal brand is amazing. And she has a huge audience. People can relate to her. She she can be sincere. People see that. They love her for that. She has a great story behind her as well. That, that makes it so impacting for the world. Her brand has made it very reputable. And it's inspiring as well. So these are celebrities, guys that have done this and they've done it in a big magnitude in a great scale huge scale now think about what i said highly recommend to think about this 
get yourself in front of a camera and capture your signature, who you are, who you really are. And if that means that you have to be in that scene of what you do, your line of work, when you capture this photograph, that story tells who you really are of what you're doing, then I think it's, it, it would be a great and amazing portrait. Again, this is not a headshot. This is beyond a headshot. Guys, this topic is about personal branding. I hope that you guys have taken something from this. Um, if you have any questions about personal branding or would like to know more about personal branding, you can always contact me. You can send me an email at david at davidpizat.com. If you need any help with this or understanding more about personal branding, uh, like I said, send me an email. You could also see more of my examples on personal branding at davidpizat.com. Go over to uh, the commercial tab and just go ahead and click on personal branding. Guys, I will leave you with that. I hope that you can, um, you, if you have not done a portrait session of yourself that best represents you and you have a company, you have a service, you have a brand that you want to put yourself out there. These are the things to think about. Okay, guys, I will leave you with this. Thank you so much for listening. And if you like what I have to say, leave a comment at the bottom of this episode. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day and take care. Goodbye.